Hi friends, now I will show you how we can close purchase order. Closing a purchase order is very common. It's year end coming and you want to close the purchase order and you want to start off uh, with the new year with new purchase order. So how you can close purchase order. Now closing purchase order is not closing the book or something. Closing purchase orders really doesn't mean that you are stopping any transaction from being posted invoice being posted or gr being posted it basically stops the commitment it ends the commitment between the uh, the purchase order charging being charged on the work order or cost center or whatever it is okay so generally what we do is most company most project does is they change the they mark the final invoice indicator and the delivery complete indicator together and these are on on the PO line so what you have to do is I go here so first I went to ME mass PO that's the transaction I go and here I will search for final okay so let me search for final okay the moment I find final here you can see final invoice is there so these both I'll select and execute now I will have some selection so probably I have something so I'll put support uh, 40 so suppose I don't know how many uh, purchase orders are P O line are there and sometimes it may not update first so here I'm just executing and these are all the POs and all all of these are DCI then final invoice already set so this is not a good one so let me change it to 50 and make this 90 so I get a bigger mass and hope I will get something out everything is final invoice indicator setup that's a problem so what we can do um, we can get something more out of it so probably I'll put 120 and I'll put 200 and here I'll execute and we'll see something so here some of them are not checked so what I can do is <clears throat> so here I'll uncheck some okay I'll only check some of these so suppose I want to check all these things as final invoice indicator so I can select the some of these or I can select all and I'll select this one and this one and I'll say perform mass change and only mass change will happen for this now when I'm doing mass change it does um, uh, th goes through all the validation so if there's validation failing it will not update so for all these it's failing validations what I'm going to do I'll do for all just for the heck and I'll see whether so what I'm going to do I'll select all and do mass change Oops. uncheck this and I'll do mass change and I'll select this at least one line yeah. so I'll select all and click on mass change and here something is wrong so let me go back hit this thing and I'll do mass change like this I'll click save and now it goes through validation it goes it's not doing a direct table update lots of people have this misconception that I'm doing mass change it no that's why SAP has been running for so many years because it it goes through all the business validation and code and then only it updates so if you are doing something in ME22N whatever logic is going through it will go through so it's logic also so it's doing the save changes and I think we have a lot of purchase orders in it so that's why it's taking some time but eventually it will update and again it, it will fail in some cases uh, and it will try to update in some cases so this is a very easy way of doing of closing the purchase orders again closing purchase orders doesn't stop you from doing a goods receipt or doing an invoice post okay you might say oh this that's not true you, you try to do it in the system and it will it will allow you to do unless you have done some customization so eventually you see this this thing is rolling the circle of death is <laughs> since i ran it for a lot of a uh, lot of things it's trying to update but eventually it will get updated so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and uh, if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day